So I'm going to show you in this video how to fill up your Ninja bottles or your PCP guns, not with a hand pump, because this is just tough and exhausting. Good exercise, uh, but it's not the way I prefer to shoot. But using a SCBA tank, uh, these are not scuba tanks, these are carbon fiber uh, air tanks, fire, uh, fireman tanks. Um, that's their SCBA is uh, self-contained breathing apparatus, not self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, which is scuba. These are not underwater tanks. Um, this is a 30 minute tank and this is a 60 minute tank. Uh, they come in three sizes, a 30, uh, 45 and 60. Uh, the 30 is 44 cubic feet. The 45 is 66 cubic feet and the 60 minute uh, bottle is 88 cubic feet. This is going to make it a lot nicer to fill up your bottles to shoot without filling up uh, a 13 cubic inch bottle takes about from empty takes about 200 250 pumps bait uh, depending on how good your rings are uh, but they these Benjamin pumps they're okay but uh, they need to uh, service quite a bit. You have to change the O-rings quite a bit. I understand the hill pumps are a little better, uh, but you know what? Instead of going out and spending $300 on a hill pump, the Mark IV, uh, which I, I may do anyway as a backup, uh, definitely getting rid of this. This is just a pain in the neck. This is the way I'm going. I have scuba shops uh, all around me. I'm by the ocean, uh, so it's no problem to get these filled to 4,500 PSI. Uh, you'll get tons and tons of top-offs um, again, top offs, not full fills. Full fills obviously use a lot more air, whether it's in you know your 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 PCP air gun or your bottles. Um, you'll get tons and tons of top top offs with an 88 cubic feet, uh, so you'll be able to shoot all day. So, something I want to let you know about these tanks: Why are we using these versus uh, an Air Venturi or Ninja 90 cubic inch? Uh, air Venturi, I believe, is 100 cubic feet. Uh, they're about this size, uh, but they're around $750 uh, US dollars. These were a lot cheaper. This one here is a, again an 88 cubic foot 60 minute, which cost about $250, $300 in pretty good shape with about 10 years of life left in this bottle. These bottles have a 15 year lifespan, at least today. I think they're going to go to 30 years. For the, There is a 30 year with the new uh, air tanks. Um, I believe it's Scott that makes them, just like this one here. Now this one here that I bought, which has air in it right now, it has about a little over 2,500 um, PSI in it. They can be filled to 4,500. They have a 15 year lifespan. This one is out of its lifespan. Uh, this was manufactured on the bottle, okay? It will actually show you the manufacture date of 0501 and it has a bunch of, these bottles need to be hydro tested every five years. Again, carbon fiber. Uh, inside is an aluminum bladder with some carbon fiber and some resin on the outside. And on my particular bottle, when I bought it, it says 514, the last uh, hydro test. So it should be good until 19. Well, this bottle was manufactured in 01. It was finished last year. Um, it really shouldn't be in use anymore, but my, uh, the scuba, t uh, scuba store where I brought this to get filled uh, said, well, they weren't sure, but they said that this is built to higher standards than other bottles. Again, these are dot specifications, so he said this will probably go another 10 years with no problem, uh, but again, you didn't recommend it. It's probably not the safest thing to do and I don't recommend it and I'm getting rid of this bottle. I had it filled once, um, I used it, and uh, once the air is done, I'm just gonna get rid of it. But this one here is in great shape. Um, it, it was made in, I believe, 11, so we're good till 26, 2026. Uh, 2026, yeah, 15. <laughs> uh, so this is good for a while. I had this hydro tested, 30 bucks to get it hydro tested. Uh, about 10 bucks to 12 bucks to get it filled in the New York area. Um, this one here, I didn't 
I didn't know since it had a hydro test of May 14, I figured this is great till 19, but I didn't know that they had a 15 year lifespan. So when you're buying these bottles, make sure you buy something uh, manufactured at least in 10, 11, 12. So you get some eight, nine, 10 years out of it. Um, this one, like I said, it was only about 30 bucks plus 30 bucks shipping. So whatever, uh, throw it up, chalk it up to the cost of learning. And the, again, these are fire, firefighter breathing tanks. Um, so they're built to this, like I said before, very high standards. They're meant to take high heat because uh, they you know, can be in a fire, whatever. That's why this one's kind of yellow, if you notice. Um, it's been really used up, but overall it's in not bad shape. I don't see any major chips or issues. Um, this one is in excellent shape. Looks almost brand new. Um, it did have one little chip. Didn't affect the hydro test, passed. And again, for $250, how can you go wrong? Okay, so what do you need to get the air out of these tanks and into either your bottle or your gun. So you need a fitting in order to get air out of this fireman's valve or SCBA valve. It's also called a CGA 347. That's this particular valve. That's pretty common on these um, fireman bottles or air tanks. So this brass nut and nipple is a CGA 347, and these are one quarter NPT. That's the threading type. And NPT means that it's tapered on an angle, so when you screw it in, it gets even tighter, uh, and that's for high pressure. This valve right here, uh, this T is a 5,000 PSI T. Uh, then you have a bleed valve, again, 5,000 pounds. I have a flow control valve. It lets me allow, allows me to control the amount of air that's passing through. One thing about these tanks, if you open them up, they just let air out. They're not like the scuba tanks, the DIN 300, uh, which I believe let air out a little slower. This, if you open it up, the whole tank will be gone in no time. Uh, so again, is this flow control absolutely necessary? No, because you can control the flow by cracking the bottle slowly open. And, and you know, but I just added this as an extra piece of safety and so as not to waste too much air. And then you have your 4,500 pound uh, line with a Foster fitting on the end. So this whole cable was about 75, 80 bucks, uh, the whole unit here. So again, the CGA 347, which is two pieces. Okay, this, this nut comes off and the nipple was about 30 bucks, 27 bucks. The T is 11, $12. The flow control valve, another 30, uh, excuse me, bleed valve, 30. The flow control valve, 30. Uh, there are a few uh, uh, one quarter nipples. And then you have a converter here from one quarter to one eighth NPT. That's what this line is. This line is a one eighth NPT, so you need a uh, I guess a step down ring or a step down nut. It's a dollar wherever you buy it. It's very simple to get. And the foster fitting. Again, that's also 1 8 NPT. So this is how you connect it. I'll show you. Uh, hopefully you can see this here. It just nipple goes in. The, the nut goes forward. Screw it down. You know, support it here. Pretty much screw it by hand until it, it screws down. And then with a wrench, hex wrench, just give it a small, not too hard, just a little bit of snugging down. And that's it, it's ready to go. Now here's your flow control valve. I open it up just a little bit to let a little bit of air. I'm gonna crack open this older tank which still has about 2,000 PSI in it. I'm holding on to the end here. Shh. Yep, there it goes. Shh. Now this is controlled. Now if I screw this all the way down, uh, I'm gonna leave it just a tiny crack open so you can hear how little it's coming out. Shh. Very little. Shh. That's it. If you, this will hook up to, this foster fitting will hook up to your Ninja bottle just like that, and you can fill this up. It can go to your PCP gun. 
I have on this Cricut, I have a fill valve with a Foster fitting attached to it, which fits right in here. It's perfect. Again, beats the hell out of pumping.